One of the cool things about adoration um, is being able to have a window into the way that Jesus looks at us. You're gazing at him, but he's also gazing at you. It's almost like sunbathing, S-O-N bathing, right? So the, the monstrance is like a mirror because you see yourself in Christ. He's the beloved son of God, the only begotten, but we are also beloved sons and daughters in him. And so when you look at this host, you see not just Jesus, but you see yourself, the way that the Father sees you. Um, also, this monstrance is made of gold, and it reminds us too that we're precious, and even more precious than gold in the eyes of God. There's also a little hole in the middle, and what goes in the hole is God, which reminds us that what we're made for. We're meant to have God fill that hole that's at the core and center of who we are. And then also, we're made to show Jesus to the world, which is exactly what the monstrance does. One of the great things about adoration for me is that my core spiritual desire is a longing for heaven and a longing to be with God forever in heaven. And when I'm in adoration, not only do I get to have a foretaste and a promise of what it's gonna be like to gaze on the face of the Father, on the face of Christ, but also I'm reminded that that longing isn't just mine and it's not even primarily mine, that it's primarily the desire of God for me.